We had snow yesterday. You can't see it on here because some of the snow has been brushed off. But you can see that our panels, and they're in the shade this time of day. We never have moved them. The panels have a little snow on them. Put some put a hay block in there. I'm gonna bring some more out after a while just to get them started. See how thick their fur is. They're very thick. Hey girl. Hey little girl. And break their water. That's how cold it's been. I use this two or four. To reach in there and break their water because it's froze. We've had bitterly cold temperatures. A little buck patches. That's patches. I guess you remember him from past videos. The one with the crazy horns. I don't know if you can see her or not. That, that one is Susan. And the one without horns, she was born without horns. That's Brenda. Anyway, we'll come out after a while too and worry about moving you around so much. We'll, I don't know, can you see in there? Anyway, we'll uh, put some more hay in there. They've packed that down pretty good. Next summer that'll be real good for putting on the garden. If we get some warm days, we'll put them back out on their tethers. Warm days where we don't have precipitation. But anyway, hey little girl. Hey sweetie. Hey sweetie. That's a good girl. Yeah, I think it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Okay, there you go. Let's update on the goats to go with the rest of the ice and stuff. You can see that there's frost all over everything out here. And I don't have my gloves on because I can't work this with my gloves on. So I'm going to cut it off now and show you something else. This is how we covered the side of the chicken house, one side of it. The other side, we had plastic, enough plastic to go up. I'll show you that too. Is it perfect? No. Let's see the plastic. But it keeps that cold wind out of here for the most part. Let me get this unlocked if I can. Show you the inside. See they've got two roost poles in there. They snuggle up on those every night. And there's their nest box. We put a pile of hay in here, and it's a lot less now than it was when we put it in here. But they walked it down, scratched around in it, and it's fine. <sighs> Sorry to move you around so much. And then there they are in the yard, and I've got to bust their water open too. Uh, I just fed them, so they're still out there picking around. They're all just fine, no problems. Even that rooster, he's got a big comb, but he's faring pretty good. So there you are. There's the animal updates after we've had this hard freeze. They're all doing okay. These are <laughs> water tank that we've got out back for just emergency water and stuff. It's froze pretty good. I don't know how deep it's froze, but you can see there's snow on there. We didn't have a lot of snow, but we've had a couple of days of really, really cold temperatures. So, it's been kind of a battle to stay warm, even with the heater on in there, because we still don't have all the insulation in this house. But anyway, this is our great November blizzard. This is really early for us. These freezing temperatures, it's cold right now out here in the shade. Freezing temperatures, snow, so far cat. That is, uh, that's really early for us. It's November, not even Thanksgiving yet. Anyway, just going to share just a little bit of our snow day. Thanks for watching.